So I'm here in the Michael Collins Centre with Timothy Crowley. Timothy and his family set up the Michael Collins Centre here in 2000 and the centre here has been constantly evolving so they're adding bits on here and there whenever they have time. And they do tours in the summer, visits, uh, just to kind of recreate the scenes of time of Michael Collins. Um, they also recreated a full-scale model of the armoured car and the ambush at Stenablock. So Timothy, just on Michael Collins going up in Woodfield, uh, what can you tell me about him going up in Woodfield and going to school and his, his younger boyhood days? Well, Michael Collins um, was born in October 1890, as you said, in Woodfield, just outside of Clannock Hintry. Uh, his family arrangement was a bit uh, unusual, or the family set up, because when he, got, when he was um, born, his father was 75, um, which was quite unusual, uh, I suppose, even, even, uh, even back then. And um, his father and mother got married, and, and uh, on their wedding day, the, the father was 60 and his mother was 23, so they, and then of course Michael being the last, and, and the father was 75. But um, Michael would say later in life that he could never remember his father's face, but he could remember all the history and the stories that his father passed on from, because his father died when Michael was, was six and a half. And um, of course when Michael's father died, uh, outside in the old house of Woofy, he seemingly said to, to all the people around his deathbed to look after young Michael because he's going to do great things for Ireland, yes. But um, that's another story, because Michael's father was the seventh son of the seventh son and all of that. But um, now Michael Collins uh, went to school then in the local village in Lissabard when he was about um, four or five, and he would have been 10 years going to school there. And of course, a lot of people are interested to know, you know, what were the influences growing up, what made him the man he became, and certainly going to school in the Savar, one of the teachers there was a um, man called Dennis Lyons, and he'd been an old senior, and, and he sort of would have taught Michael Collins about you know, pride in being Irish, and being yeah, Irish, yeah. maybe a bit of Irish language and all that. And then of course in the evenings, and then at lunchtime, Michael Collins would go across the road to, from the school at the Savar, and at the side of where the pipe bar is now, there was a blacksmith forge, and there was um, a blacksmith there called James Santry, and he used to be telling all the, the school boys and girls how um, his grandfather made crappy pipes in 1798. So he, he was um, a big influence on Michael Collins growing up. And uh, there's a lot of connection, a big connection between the 1798 period and the Collins story. Um, because um, Michael Collins, his um, father actually was taught in a head school by uh, a man who knew T. Ball Tone in 1798. And there's all these kind of unusual connections there. So in terms of the farm and the site of Woodfield, can you, what can you tell me about the original house that Michael Collins was born in? Well, um, it, I suppose it's really hard to know what the, the design of the original house was. Um, we can only, we know the design of the house that was born, um, because there was still, when, when that was, um, the site was cleaned up for Woodfield in 1990, and there was still a couple of um, Johnny Collins' um, children still alive, would be Michael's nephews and nieces, and they could. Uh, some of them were born in that house, so they they could they would have lived there until they were ten, and they they could find out where the kitchen was and the bedrooms and all that. Now I knew some of them when we started off twenty years ago doing tours and so on, and I I asked them, you know, could, could they tell me where what was the original design of the old house inside, and they couldn't tell me. Um, I mean, if you walk into that house, you can see first of all there's a blocked up doorway yeah. going from one section to the other, which would indicate it was a dwelling house at one time. And then if you look up at the, the height of the, the roof, um, there's, you can see old mortar and then newer mortar that was used at the time of the place was restored in 1990. But, but the, go, looking at the, at the height of the wall with the old mortar, it would indicate that it was possibly a two-story house. And that does that is mentioned in some of the um, information boards out there as well. But as to where was the, where were the bedrooms or the kitchen or whatever, some of that bill, um, some of that bill may well have been removed or destroyed, you know. When the new house was built, when my father was 10 now, 1900, that old dwelling house was turned into a family that was completely gutted.